The multi-function grips in AutoCAD 2012 bring more commands to your fingertips than ever before. Now you'll find frequently used editing commands right on the objects themselves and easily accessible just by hovering over the object. You're not gonna believe how much time this is gonna save. Let me show you how. Let's start by taking a look at multifunction grips on a line. Okay, so here I have a simple object, right? I have a line. As I hover over the endpoint grip, you'll see that I have two options available to me. I can do a lengthen or I can do a stretch. Let's select lengthen. Now notice I have a blue box on the screen right there that has a value in it. That's the distance I want to lengthen the line by. I'm just gonna go ahead and type in a three so it made my line three units longer. All right, let's try that again. Let's go back into lengthen. This time, I wanna tell it the total length of the line. If I hit the tab key, you'll see that I can go between those two values. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a total value of five. And incidentally, the only difference between lengthen and stretch is that lengthen will continue the line along the same angle, whereas stretch will allow me to change the angle. Let's move on to an arc. Now you notice as I select my arc, once again, as I hover over the endpoint, I have the option to do a stretch or a lengthen. And if I hover over the midpoint grip, I have the additional option to change the radius. This is another nice speedy way of changing the radius of an arc. I'm gonna use my in-canvas viewport controls and I'm gonna switch over to a custom view for dimensions. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select my dimension and I want you to notice as I hover over the endpoint, I have the ability to do a stretch just like before. I can do a continued dimension, a baseline dimension. Let's try a continued dimension. Now that was pretty easy and I didn't have to search for any commands in the ribbon. Okay, let's do it again. Let's work with our new dimension. Let's do something like maybe we'll flip the arrow. And also notice as I hover over the grip that's over the text, I have all kinds of options available to me. Now, once again, the ultimate goal here is save you time. You don't have to search for any commands in the ribbon. They're all right there for you at your fingertips. All right, let's take a look at M leaders. I know that many of you use M leaders. Hovering over the midpoint grip, you'll see it's very speedy for me to add additional leaders. And just as easy for me to remove them. And I also have the option of lengthening the landing.